Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was to identify the role played by NALSA helped in achieving which sustainable development goal? And it is goal number 16 of sustainable development goals, which is to promote just peaceful and inclusive societies. So that is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question. With reference to sedition cases in India, consider the following statement. Statement 1. It falls under Section 124A of Criminal Procedure Code. And Statement 2. It was introduced in India after independence. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. So guys here both the statements are wrong. So it is Option D neither 1 nor 2. The origin of sedition law occurred in 17th century at England when lawmakers believed that only good opinions of the government should survive as bad opinions were detrimental to the government and the monarchy. And this law was borrowed and inserted into the section 124A of IPC, not CRPC, it is Indian Penal Code and in 1870 it is inserted into IPC. So it is before independence and it is inserted by British. British used sedition law to convict and sentence freedom fighters. It was first used to prosecute Bal Gangadhar Tilak in 1897 and even Mahatma Gandhi too was later tried for sedition for his articles in one journal. So that is our quiz question for the day. Name the journal which is published by Mahatma Gandhi in English and he tried for sedition by British for his articles in this journal. So please post your answers in the comment section. Coming back to discussion, the latest data suggests that sedition law remains as relevant as ever with sedition arrest increasing in recent years and there is an argument from the society that this law must be repealed and the reason for that is sedition leads to a sort of unauthorized self-censorship for it produces a chilling effect on free speech. It suppresses what every citizen ought to do in a democracy that is to raise questions, debate, disagree and challenge the government decision. So sedition is against this and sedition systematically destroys the soul of Gandhiji's philosophy that is right to dissent. Even Jawaharlal Nehru in parliament clarified once that related penal provisions of Section 124A was highly objectionable and obnoxious and the sooner we get rid of it better. And even the UK where the law originator has already repealed it and we are holding it now also. So that is it. Moving to the second question. Second question is with reference to International Monetary and Finance Committee IMFC consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is the ministerial level committee of the International Monetary Fund IMF and the meeting will be held annually to discuss matters of common concern affecting the global economy. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. So guys the correct answer here is it is Option A 1 only. It is the ministerial level committee of International Monetary Fund IMF. It meets twice a year, once during fund bank annual meetings in October and once during spring meetings in April. It discusses the management of international monetary and finance system. It advises IMF on other matters of common concern affecting the global economy. IMFC has 24 members drawn from the pool of 189 governors and represents all member countries. India is one of the current members. It operates on consensus including on selection of its chairman and this year due to COVID-19 outbreak the April meeting took place through video conference so that was in news that's why this question is asked. Now moving to the last question for the day. Last question is Chitra Gene Lamp N recently seen in the news is a option A biofortified crop option B AI enabled humanoid robot Option C, new rice variety and option D, COVID diagnostic kit. So the correct answer here is it is option D, it is a COVID diagnostic kit. This diagnostic test kit 
is developed by Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology, which is in Trivandrum, state of Kerala. And this test can confirm COVID-19 in two hours at low cost. And this Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute is an institute of national importance under Department of Science and Technology. And this test kit project is funded by Department of Science and Technology only. So it is a great development in India that has that an indigenous diagnostic kit for the fight against COVID-19. That was in news recently, that's why it is asked. So that's it, that's all for today guys. Please force answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section. We'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Thank you for watching.